Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Ill Tutoring. So this Sunday, actually tomorrow, me and my um, lovely members will be going over a case study called uh, Preventive and Desensitizing Agents. So think about when your patient comes in and says that they have a sore tooth, they have a sensitive tooth, you, you need to know sort of what's causing that. So you can not only tell them what's causing it, but you also have to know how to cure it or how to limit the symptoms or to help uh, prevent it from sort of happening in the first place. So we will be going over some case studies on that. I did um, upload a mock exam for my members in the private Facebook group on this topic about a week ago to sort of help um, prepare them. Plus they have a PowerPoint inside also to sort of reteach them the entire topic because I find in either the Darby and Walsh or the Wilkins um, or the Mosby's, I find that this chapter is quite slow and very, very boring. So it makes it a lot harder to study from, right? So what I have done is I have kind of taken all of those three textbooks and I've put them in my own PowerPoint to make it sound a lot more exciting, plus to only kind of tell you guys what you need to know on the topic. Um, but to make it even easier, we will be going over some case studies. So let me just kind of show you what that's about a little bit. So in our session for, for, my, um, uh, for my members, we go over the case studies for about an hour, sometimes an hour and 15 minutes, depending on how many questions. So I'm just going to go over a few of them now for you and see how much you know about this topic. So, okay, so the first case study is... Um, Joe is a new patient and his main concern is his tooth sensitivity. This happens all the time. Um, upon examination, you noticed um, generalized, demineralized areas. What can be done at home to um, remineralize that enamel? So I'll let you guys think about the answers, A, B, C, or D, and remember to pick apart each part of the question. If you're um, studying to take the board exam, sometimes they will have too much information in the question. Or other times you're probably thinking, well, they don't have enough information at all. How am I supposed to answer this? So you kind of have to pick in part the important info and not pay attention to the useless info. So I'm just gonna help to pick apart this for you. So the first part is, is that his main concern is tooth sensitivity. So you, you, you have to be thinking already, okay, how is the tooth sensitive? Is it hot, cold, sweet pressure? Well, it doesn't say. So you don't actually know how the teeth are sensitive because it doesn't say that in the case study. But then the next point is upon examination, you noticed um, generalized demineralized areas. So not localized to a few areas, but all over. So you need to pay attention to either, is it um, generalized or is it localized? So you have to know what that means. So localized is 30% or less um, of the, of the um, areas in the mouth. More means it's everywhere. And um, taking a step ahead, you of course have to know what um, demineralized areas look like, what causes it, and what it is. And then the last part is, so then what can be done at home to help to bring back the enamel? So um, demineralization means that that enamel has been taken away. So then you have to somehow bring it back. And specifically, we are talking about at home not in the dental office, not somewhere else, but at home. So all of these things you have to be thinking of. So let's go over the answer here. So the answer is C, a daily um, fluoride rinse. So A is not the right answer because with these types of um, um, spots on the teeth, a lot more has to be done than simply brushing and flossing. Now, if they're not brushing and flossing, then those areas could become worse. But you need to think, how can you actually bring that enamel back? Because that's part of the question. Okay, so A is not the right answer. The second one, um, fluoride rinse in the office, is the correct answer, but it's not the best answer. Because specifically in the case study, I had said, what can be done at home. 
and this is talking about done in the office. So that's not the right answer. So C is the most correct answer. Um, D is not correct because salt water doesn't actually bring back the enamel. It's a good thing to do at home if you have perio, if you have um, gingivitis, but to actually bring back enamel that has nothing to do with it. So C is the best answer. So see how you all have to always think outside the box. You have to know every part of the question, but an easy way to study is if you're reading the question and you're stuck, say, on the first part. So if you were reading the question and then saying to sensitivity, okay, so what different types of sensitivity could he have? What causes sensitivity? Um, how can you prevent it? So if you're stuck on that thinking, oh, geez, I can't remember what causes it. I can't remember what that might look like. I can't even remember how to prevent it. Then you need to make sure to head back to that chapter and reread it so you know more about sensitivity. Because um, case studies tend to be annoying for students when you try to go through the case studies first before you had a chance to actually study the material. Because if you do that, you won't know anything. And then you'll be saying to yourself, I didn't know this case study at all. I'm just horrible. There's no way that I'll be able to pass. Like this is just, you know, awful. But the best thing to do is to actually study the material first and then go through the case study to see if you need to study any more. If you happen to get all of the answers correct, then you know that you can move on to another topic. If you say, um, found a lot of the questions quite hard, then that tells you that you have to go back and study the topic again. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here. So I hope that that helped you guys a little bit. Um, if this is a topic that is hard for you, well, I am more than happy to help. Um, because if you are a member of either the um, Board Exam Prep Academy or the um, Dental L Student Program, we do the case studies live online every single Sunday on every single topic. So you will get sort of a little bit of practice at a time. So you don't have to always feel so um, stressed, so overwhelmed. Because if you try to do, say, 10 case studies in a day, you'll be quickly overwhelmed. You won't want to do any more. But doing a couple a week helps. Plus, I do upload new mock exams about twice a week, too. So you will always have something to look at and take your time. There's no rush at all. So I hope that this helped a little bit. If you guys need help, let me know, and I will see you guys next time.